So uh, we're here at the Grand, or at the Teton. We're going to be climbing the middle Teton, and I think it's called the South Teton. But um, I did this hike last year to the Grand Teton, the bigger one, and I didn't really get to take any video. So hopefully I'll be able to do that a little bit more this time. Um, it's about 6 a.m. We started at 3 a.m. and it's been good so far. So hopefully uh, you guys enjoy this video. So we just got into like you know the rocky area. So most of the the trail before this so we went four and a half miles from the trailhead um, to this is uh, platform campsites so this is the first group of campsites that you can um, you can camp at uh, we're not camping so we're gonna do just take a day and do it um, but yeah, four and a half miles to here. We did it. About two hours. It took us about two hours to get here. Um, and then it just gets steeper as you go. But definitely a cool, cool view. So right down there, that's the meadows. Um, there's some campsites and stuff there. And then up that way is the trail to the Grand, which is right there, I believe. And here's our trail. We're going up to that middle right there, that peak, the first one. And there's the south, Travis? Yeah. Middle. And so that's the middle. And then the south's right there. The south. So we're gonna cool pictures you guys climbing up on those rocks though. It is cool. A show off to people, you know. It is impressive. I just, you know, just go for it. Like, is there things that's like quicker? Do look at this neck, guys. Sage grouse.
These are, yeah, like these are, this is super rare to see this. Yeah, he's, he's like making it big. There's like 12 of them over here. He's ready. All right, so I'm here uh, making this video, and I was looking at um, the... <clears throat> I just didn't get a lot of explanation to it after the first little bit, so I thought I'd explain here before we go into the, um, the ending uh, pictures. But So the hike is a total of... 12.7 miles that's an in and out and it's 6,040 feet of elevation and that's about 800 feet less than the Grand Teton um, so we did the middle um, last year I did the Grand um, we started at about 3 a.m. 3.30 somewhere in there and got back to the trailhead back to our cars at around 5 or 6 p.m., I want to say. And then we went in and had dinner. Um, so, I mean, long day for sure, but uh, it was definitely worth doing just in one day again. I don't regret that. Um, one day I do want to camp along the way, which would be sweet. But, uh, yeah, it was a great day. Um, other than that, uh, you can see in the video where we summited that section where that that big lake see you know that there's that big lake up to the top that's a really steep pretty hard section i would say and then there's a lot you know just a lot of boulder fields and so just be prepared for you know a lot of scrambling and potential of like rolling ankles and stuff like that i would i would definitely you know prep for that type of hike versus just like a trail i think only three miles of this thing is an actual like you know dirt trail three or four miles all the rest are it's just boulder fields and um well i guess sorry six six miles so half of it total um half of the total hike is about is um a dirt trail all the rest is bouldering and um, this one we don't, we didn't need to rope up on. The Grand, uh, it is, yeah, you need to rope up on. <laughs> um, anyway, that's another story. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll just, um, we'll be the ending uh, pictures and everything here, and uh, thanks for watching. I also forgot to th uh, thank uh, my buddy Travis, he's the one that invited me on this. And uh, he took his nieces and uh, nephews and some friends and stuff. And uh, that was their first time doing, I would say, like a big hike like this. And they were absolutely amazing. Super fun to be with. Um, no complaining. It was just a great, great group. So uh, thanks, guys.